Hey there guys. Sorry it's been so long since I've done an updated video. Um, it's been a crazy two weeks since we've gotten this dog. <laughs> I'll tell you. First, most of you probably know about his throwing up a diarrhea, had a parasite problem, got medicated for that. Then the double ear infection. Uh, both ears, that means both ears had an uh, ear infection, one worse than the other. And then I had, Mozzie threw up a couple times one day, and then a, a couple days later Max did. Then he was okay for a couple days, and then, the, and then he, he threw up again in a couple days. And then a couple days after that, he had diarrhea all over our bedroom floor, which was, I know this is TMI, it was the most horrible smell and it was at 5.30 in the morning we got woke up. And then, then what happened? Kitten had his allergic reaction to something, so he had to be put on steroids. Oh my goodness, guys, it's been crazy, crazy two weeks. Let me go sit in my swing here. The only one, which I don't even want to say it because it'll probably happen now, is Marley's the only one that didn't, didn't get sick out of the whole bunch. Me, oh yeah, Miggy threw up once. So I don't know if it was like the... Sorry, I'm swinging, guys. I don't want to make you sick. I don't know if it was like the anxiety of disrupting the flow of the house um, with the dogs. I'm, I'm not sure what was going on. Um, I know what with the, the puppy, but the other boys with their throwing up and uh, Max having diarrhea. I don't know. But everyone seems fine now, knock on wood. And what's today? Today's Wednesday. We're leaving Friday to go to Port Huron, Michigan. And I'm praying, praying everything's fine uh, for my mother-in-law when she watches the boys. So we can enjoy ourselves. We're only going to be gone three nights and it's only an hour and 20 minute drive away. So we wanted to pick somewhere that um, wasn't too far of a drive to get back in case something happens with one of the animals. So um, I can't wait, you guys. I need a break. <laughs> and I know it's our, and I know what people are saying. Well, you have all these animals, but geez, it all happened in two weeks. So. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy myself <laughs> getting away from the pukes and the poops and everything. So, anyways, I was going to, after I let them out, I was going to take you inside and show you the um, people were interested in my um, dog sitting uh, notes I was going to leave for my mother-in-law. So, I was going to show you guys that and what I did so to make her life easier taking care of my boys. So, I'll be back shortly. So before I get started on my list, I want to show you how I feed everyone. I keep Magnum in this fenced in area I have in my kitchen. I put him in there, sit him in there, I get all the food ready, give him his food, give the cat, well it looks like he lost a piece, Miggy found it, <laughs> give the cat his food and then I give the older dogs their food. And then I leave Magnum in there until everybody's done eating. Um, so he doesn't try to get into their food. He is a super fast eater like any other schnauzer. And I have a slow feed bowl that's coming in the mail today that I ordered on Amazon. I'll link it below to show you. It's not these ones here because I figured he needed probably a smaller one. So I'll link it below if you're interested in which one I bought him. So here's my, um, notes I made for my mother-in-law on my fridge. Hopefully you can see that. I have their feeding schedule on here. So you can see this here. Um, the cat gets a one eighth cup of food during his feeding time. Uh, the puppy gets a third cup and so do the dogs. So that's what their scoops are. Uh, the only thing that changes at lunch is the puppy gets a half of his scoop. And then at three o'clock, the dogs get a dental treat and the puppy can have two to three of his little puppy treats. I'm keeping him on just one kind of puppy treat right now. I don't want to give him a bunch of different kind to upset his uh, stomach till it, you know till he gets older. I'm not going to give him 
too many different kinds of treats. And then their dinner, and then their bedtime snacks. Um, I made sure to tell her that Kitten gets his in the kitchen last so they don't eat his, because they will. And then I left her some notes about um, when feeding the dogs to put Magnum in his uh, fence in area like I just showed you. Um, and then I let her know Saturday Kitten needs one dose of his uh, steroid. Because uh, by then he'll be every other day, so she'll only have to do it on Saturday. Um, and then just some instructions about when I let him out. Um, what to do and to try to, during the day when Magnum's sleep, sleeping, let the other dogs outside. Uh, so they can have some alone time outside without Magnum's craziness bugging them. <laughs> so there's my little list there for her. So hopefully that'll make it easier for her. And I also labeled a bunch of stuff. I bought these canisters for the dog food. Sorry, I'm trying to move the dog ball. Let me pull them out. It's dark. It's dark over here. Bought these canisters at, where did I, Meyer. Um, I got one. This is the dog food, the puppy food, and the kitty food. And look at this. Look at He's moving, and this is the only bad thing about this. I don't know how to anchor it. What are you doing? You want more food? You can't walk away from him anymore in this because he moves this uh, fencing all over. I don't know if I should. I don't know how to anchor it to where I don't have to drill it into the wall or anything to keep it from moving. So he's not going to be able to be in here much longer. Look at him. He's a little stinker. So I'm going to let him out so I can finish talking. You little stinker. You little stinker. He's gonna go check out the kitty's tail. He tries to get it every now and then. And then the kitty spots him in the face. <laughs> Kitten wanted nothing to do with him at first. He'd hiss and growl at him. And Magnum stayed his distance. But now they're getting a little, you know, more used to each other. Kitten lets him bite his tail a little and then he lets him have it. Uh, okay, so. So then I got the puppy food. I still need to get a scooper for the puppy food. So that way there's a scooper in each one. She don't have to worry about, is it this one for the puppy or this one for the puppy? And then here's the cat food. So that should make it easy for her when it comes to uh, feeding time. And then I keep their dishes um, right up in the cupboard here. So they're right by the... Look at him. He is the most... He is such a stinker. He, he's going to be a troublemaker. He might be worse than Miggy with all his energy and his personality. What are you doing? Look at Max. He's like, what are you doing, Magnum? You're going to get in trouble. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> okay, so then over here where I have all my Schnauzer stuff, I have two containers here. Um, and I labeled those dental treats. There's two different kinds of dental treats here. I'll link them in the description box below if you're curious what dental treats I give them. I think these are the milk bones and these are by Purina uh, dental treats. So she can give them, Is it now these are for the only for the older dogs. She can give them, uh, you guys think you're getting one? No, not right now. No, not right now. Uh, she can give them whichever one she wants to give them. So look at, he's way over here now. Look at this. Magnum, what are you doing? What are you doing? Say hello. Say hello. He's doing good now. His ears are better. He's not having any more poopoos and throwing up. He's doing good. He's just a little stinker. He's like a little baby. You gotta watch all the time. Yeah. Right, Max? He's like a little baby. Max is always keeping an eye on him. I'm telling you. Hey, Mom, he's doing, he's doing bad stuff. Okay, so then in my bedroom, let me turn on some lights here. It's dark down here. In my bedroom, I have on my dresser, oh, my headband, I labeled the canister that has the treats that um, I give them when I'm putting them in their crates. Like if I'm leaving to the grocery store, we're going out to dinner. If I got to take a shower, I put them in their crates, so no trouble. So these are the little... Uh, five calorie milk bones. I just give them one of those when I throw them in their crate. 
And then these are their bedtime treats, the bigger milk bones. I give them one of those when they go to bed. So I labeled that for her. And then these are the puppy treats. And for the life of me, I can't remember their um, the name of them offhand. So I'll try to find them online and link them below if you're curious what puppy treats I'm giving him right now. But these are the only ones I'm giving him. So when he goes in his crate, he gets one of these. At night, he gets a two to three. Um, when I give the boys their dental treats, I give them a couple of these. Um, so he has something to eat and keep him distracted from the boys eating theirs because he'll try to eat theirs um, if he doesn't have something. So. I think labeling everything will help her so she knows which ones are what and we have no overfeeding we have no trouble with uh, getting too much and having a pancreatitis flare up max at least because he's had one before so I'm touching the treat jars so they hear that sound they think they're getting some so hopefully I've made it easy for her um, while she's watching <laughs> he's still over here chewing on that bone your or bone bowl can you guys tell i'm like half asleep i feel like i've just been running on fumes these two weeks of having him <laughs> it's been crazy like i said at the beginning about with everybody and not feeling well and then mickey this year for fourth of july the fireworks he was terrified of the fireworks and He's never been before, so I don't know, is it this neighborhood, they're just louder, or he's just scared of them now. So let me know in the comments below if your dog was never scared and then all of a sudden one year was scared of the fireworks, but he was just pacing the house. Uh, I'd have to wait till late at night, like midnight, uh, to let him go outside um, to use the bathroom, and I was having to hook him up, get his harness on, and get him on a leash and walk uh, the neighborhood a little bit. Oh, the mailman's here, so they're gonna um, probably start barking soon, but um, I'd have to walk him up and down the sidewalk here to go potty. He seemed better doing that than being in the backyard. I don't know. I don't know uh, what it is this year, why he's so scared, so. What do you guys want? What do you guys want, huh? Oh, you got crazy beard, Max. You got firecracker beard. Yes, you do. You got firecracker beard. So anyways, everybody's doing good and hoping to get away this Friday. Um, we're going to leave Friday and we're going to be gone three nights. So we'll be back Monday. I mean, it's not a long vacation, but geez, we haven't, we haven't went anywhere or been away. I think it's been three or four years. So it'll be, it'll be fun just to get away. We rented a house on um, the VR BO site. Oh, my husband's coming. Hold on. I'll let you guys know in a minute. Okay, guys. So I got my package. My husband came in with the, uh, from the mailman came. Got my slow feed bowl. Let's bring it out here. So here it is. This is what I got him. Happy hunting bowl. Let's take this out. I think this is going to help. Oh, hold on, guys. Let me set my camera down. Get this out. Yeah, this one's um, smaller and the things are closer together. Let me get out the other boys' bowl so I can show you. Here. Oh. Yeah, this one has bigger spaces and he'll stick his nose right in there. These ones have a little bit thinner spaces, so I'll try and um, videotape him later when I give him their dinner. And I'll throw it at the end of this video. Let's see what he thinks of it. Let's see what he thinks of this bowl before there's any food. Oh, well, everybody's going to check it out, huh? Everybody's going to check it out, see if anything's in it? Yeah? <laughs> All right, so I'll do some uh, video of him eating out of this at dinner time, you guys. Okay, guys, I'm giving... Max on his food in his slow feed bowl. Let's see if you can see that. Yep, let's see. Looks like it's, he's confused a little. Let me give the other boys their food. So you're going to hear these guys chomping. Oh yeah, that's slowing him down. I'm happy. <laughs> that's slowing you down, Max. Uh-oh, he's some out. 
That's great. This thing works great, guys. That was mad. <laughs> He'd have had half of it wolfed down by now. He's got to work for it. I might have to get this one for my boys. I like that the um, puzzle pieces in the inside are closer together. So he's really got to get his tongue in there to get a piece. Don't sound like he's chewing his food though still. But that's really slowing him down. So I'll put a link for this bowl in the description uh, box below. I think this bowl would even work for my boys. I think it'd be a little bit better. I might have to order them uh, these bowls too because it's skinnier like you saw in the previous clip. The pieces are closer together. So anyways, there you go. Works great. Let me share. I got a package today, so I want to share that with you guys. And I also got a card a couple of the, uh, the other day I want to share with you guys. Okay, so I got a package from Erin. Um, it says, hi, Schnauzer mom. I'm a loyal fan and love your boys. The indestructible stuff is for Magnum for the chewing. The other toys and cake mix are for everyone. Enjoy your gift from Erin. And then it had a little uh, P.S. The cake mix I referred to in the last note might arrive separately, but it will get there. Enjoy your gift from Erin. Thank you, Erin. It did um be it was in a separate package, but um I got them on the same day because I haven't been to my PO box much since um I got the puppy. So <laughs> it did come in a separate package, but I got it on the same day. So here's the cake mix. Let me pick it up here. It's a puppy cake mix, wheat-free, uh, peanut butter. So I'll have to make this for, whose birthday's next? Let's see, is there an expiration date on this? I bet there is. 5-2-2018. So I might make this for Mozzie's birthday. He, he's the next person with a birth, uh, birthday, which is in November. So I'll have to make this for them. Sorry guys, I'm looking at the fat. The fat is only three, let's see if it'll focus. 3.5%. So, and I don't know what size that is. It doesn't say. But um, here's the, um, here's a little soccer ball. And it squeaks, of course. So you know my dogs love squeaky balls. And then here's a, this is a cool ball. This will be easy for Magnum to pick up. And it's not going to pop. It's not going to, he can't um, rip it apart. This is cool. It's really tight uh, threaded. And then there's this, uh, like a bouncy ball. They can all play with it. They can't wreck. These are nice. Thank you so much, Aaron. I was so, I was so surprised to get a package. I didn't know it was coming. And it's so, it's so fun to get stuff in the mail. So <laughs> thank you so much. And let me go get that card real quick I got. Okay, here's the card I got. It's one of the Michael Chesney cards, uh, note cards that I talked about in a, a previous video. It's one of those. And it says, Hey Magnum, enjoy your new home. Jim, Naomi, and Gus. And then here's Gus's little paw print. <laughs> so cute. So thank you guys for the card, the card for Magnum. I love these cards, they're so cute. I'll leave his Facebook page uh, in the description box below. There's going to be a ton of stuff for info for you guys in this uh, video in the description box. So check it out. So, okay. He's still eating, guys. It's been about... Gosh, I should have timed this. I bet you it's been about five minutes or more now. And he still has quite a bit of his food in there that he's still working on. So this thing works great. I think I'm going to get on Amazon and order four more of these. I think they were either $8.99 or $9.99. I can't remember. So they're a little bit cheaper than the ones at PetSmart by Kong. Those were $13.99 a piece. So I may try one of my dogs tomorrow in the, with this and see um, how much it slows them down. I think I might do that before I order them. So... I'll let you guys know if I do order them. 
but he's still having to work at it and that's good and he's still getting it because his tongue's long enough to get it <laughs> so i'm not sure if i'll have i probably won't have another video this week um because we're going to be out of town for four days um so i probably won't have another video till next week but always check on my face join my facebook page because I'm always posting updates and, and photos of the boys there. So if you don't follow me on Facebook, look down below for that. Follow me there. I think some dogs want in. And I don't know if you guys want me to video. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Maybe he wants in. And Marley, you want out or are you staying in? You're staying in? Okay, and I think someone else is coming. Yep, here comes Max. Marley's going out. Come on, Max. Come on. And Mozzie's out there. <laughs> it's a never-ending rotation of schnauzers going in and out. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to video some highlights of Port Huron, Michigan and Lexington that we um, visit. So let me know in the comments. And if there's quite a few people that want to see it, I'll video uh, tape uh, the house we're staying at. And I don't know if I mentioned before that we rented a house off the VRBO.com, um, the website. So we've never seen the house. We're going by pictures and reviews. Um, so I'm hoping it's great. Um, it's right on the water. So this will be our first time doing that. If you guys ever um, run a house on VRBO, let me know. So I can't wait to go. And I'm going to miss these dogs. I'm going to love the break from them. But I know I'm going to miss them terribly. <laughs> I'm going to want to get back to them. So anyways, you guys have a good week. Again this weekend too and we'll talk to you guys when we get back bye guys